All right, so we talked about how to create um, the overhead office shape. And now what we want to do is actually add the rooms here. And there are a few ways you could do that. So let's go to a blank slide. Uh, one of the things you want to consider is if you want to have uh, how much of a rotation you want to do and then what you want to have as offices. So for example, if we go back here, you might like having this back wall, but if you rotate it a lot, uh, you might actually want to take this wall out and then uh, open it up more. So it's really just a matter of what you want to do. I'm going to use a rectangular shape. If you didn't want that wall, all you would do is uh, choose this drawing tool and you can do you know, something like this and then um, that gives you an open wall here. Of course you'd want it to line up right, but that's how you would do that if you didn't want that one back wall. But let's go ahead and we're just going to use a rectangular shape. And then you need to decide how you want your office to look. So we're going to uh, uh, we're going to add walls and what I want to do is I want to have like a big uh, meeting area. So a big meeting area here and then I want to have some offices. So now there's a few ways you can do that. First thing we want to do is uh, turn off our shape fill and uh, we'll keep our line shape. But a few ways you can do that. One is you can just copy the box shape and then you can build your offices as a box. Um, and there's some value to that because if you want to, uh, let's just say we're going to do um, three offices here. I'm going to move this over and we'll um, we're going to go ahead and add this uh, third office here. Everything's lined up and then let's say we're going to open this up and this will be our lobby area. So when we look at it, we've got Office 1, Office 2, Office 3, and then kind of a main lobby area. And then you can add offices, uh, more offices if you want to. Um, what's nice about doing it with a box shape is that if you wanted to pull this particular office shape out of there, you can pull that out and then retain everything that we're going to do. Uh, another way you can do it, let's go ahead and create another slide, is let's say uh, we start with the shape here and then you're just going to use the line tool um, to draw your office shape. If you hold the shift down that will uh, make sure it's straight. So you've got your line tool and what's nice with the line tool is after the fact you can uh, position things. And Let's go ahead and just break this up and um, then we'll apply it uh, both ways and then we can see what it looks like. So we've got this. I'm going to copy this and then we'll just uh, We'll just do that. And it's not it's not perfect here, but we can let's let's zoom in. Um, and then what you'd want to do is make sure that your um, thickness on the lines is consistent. So what I would do is just do a control G here or select them all and then just go ahead and choose a consistent uh, thickness. We'll just we'll just go with three point. And you'll notice the colors are different too, so we'll just apply the same color. That's the same thing here. So we'll um, apply the same uh, color and then we'll also um, apply a three point font. Um, now let's go ahead and rotate this. So we're going to do a control G. So it's all grouped as a single object. And then we're just going to apply the shape effect to it. So let's go ahead and um, do a preset. We're going to do perspective. And there it is. And then let's go ahead and um, add depth. So we've got our 100. Uh, pixel depth and you could you know you, depending on the scale of it you can make it 50 pixels and then it gives you the appearance of a larger uh, area uh, so we'll just we'll just we'll just actually keep it at 50 and then uh, we'll just keep the default settings now if you wanted to rotate it there's a couple ways you can do it one is you can go here and change the perspective and then the other is you can rotate it on the y axis and get the right look now let's go ahead and do that real quick on uh, here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do control G. It's grouped. We're going to apply a, a perspective effect on it. And then uh, we'll do the depth and we'll do 100. And then what I want to show you is if what's nice with these is with the walls, I can move them uh, because I didn't use them as shapes. So um, actually let me let me rotate that again here. Let's open that box up. Let's go back to the, the rotation. We're going to rotate it here. And then you can see um, I can click on this and it's grouped and I can move the shape with my arrow keys. So using the lines rather than other shapes might uh, be more value to you.